The next person is K. Eric Crook. Uh, uh, thank you. Yes, my name is K. Eric Crook. Uh, I'm a member of the planning board. Uh, I have a bachelor's degree in forest management from the University of Washington, environmental protection option. And I have a master's degree in planning from Rutgers University. I want to take a few minutes to comment on my rationale uh, for voting against the resolution that was put before you. Um, I have repeatedly asserted that the preliminary traffic impact analysis should be provided by the developer prior to approval of a zoning change of this magnitude. Contrary to the position taken by the developers, I do not think this would be premature. It would be a necessity in order for the planning department, the planning board, and yourselves to make a reasoned judgment. Um, and, and let me make this really simple, right? You can go into your cell phone, type in QRS traffic in impact software, and you'll see a perfectly usable right, traffic impact uh, program. And, and I'm not just picking that one in particular, it's one I used to work, I use when I worked at the MTA. Right? There are a number of them. It's not expensive software, right? it's not rocket science, it's something that can be done very, very quickly. Right? Um, so I think that that's a necessity at this point. I'd also like to say that I'd like to that endorse the proposal to mandate traffic impact analyses and environmental analyses be required wherever appropriate and a project of this magnitude cries out for that level of scrutiny. I think it is noteworthy um, that, that Zach, uh, um, when we were in our previous hearing, uh, praised the plan that Mark Hengen and I had put together. Um, but unfortunately, I don't really think that the people here today and the people who are out in our community would say the same about the latest iteration of their plan. Um, the developers propose switching to green space if and when their proposed nine-hole golf course fails. Well, why wait? There's already another nine-hole golf course three miles down the road. We force the land and the city would then enjoy an ecological and environmental benefit for centuries to come. Okay. Um, I do want to say something about the level of discourse here. Um, yeah, I don't see the Marshall Group as, as being some kind of an ogre besetting our land. Right? Um, they made a great deal on a beautiful piece of property. Right? Um, I think um, they have yet to present a strategy that both suits their interests and those of the people of our fair city. Um, so thank you for your time and your consideration. Thank you. Thank you.